Hi, I'm Kristen Burt with Red Carpet Report, and we are here at the 44th Annual Los Angeles Film Critics Association Awards. Have to ask, how did you come to the project The Other Side of the Wind? Because this is a really deep history with Orson Welles. It's, it's a long, crazy story for me because um, I, 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 I was uh, neighbors with the, with the cinematographer Gary Graver. And uh, when my wife and I moved to Studio City about uh, in the early 2000s, I discovered he was living three houses down from me. And uh, not only had he shot all these like cool uh, cult movies that I was uh, like a big fan of, but he had done uh, Orson Welles' movie, Other Side of the Wind, and he had the work print in his garage. So I was always saying, hey, Gary, we should get together when we're between jobs and like kind of get this movie, try to get it finished. And um, that was uh, uh, quite a while ago. Uh, and then unfortunately in 2006, he passed away. But so I thought I would never get another opportunity to work on the movie. But then when it started up again last year, I really petitioned to get on it just because I knew him and I knew so much about the history of the movie and, and had done some things that I thought were comparable. So the lesson is please meet your neighbors because you don't know who lives down the street. Exactly, exactly. And um, he was really instrumental in like making the movie. He was basically Orson's right hand man all through the, the production of the movie, shot everything that Orson did for, between like 1970 and 1985. And then even after Orson died, he really tried to keep the movie alive and tried to get it finished for all, all those years. So it's really, a, the finishing of the movie is really a testament to him as well, Gary Graver. What did you learn working on this film? Because I've got to imagine this was not only a history lesson, but makes you even better as an editor. Oh, absolutely. I learned um, I learned Orson Welles is, is, is as much of a genius as everybody says he is. I mean, just watching the dailies and hearing the way he directed the actors and the level of detail and specificity when he would talk to uh, actors to try to get the performance out of them. Uh, and, and I just learned that he was a guy who never gave up. He never stopped. And, and um, as, as long as it took him to make the movie, he just did it on his own time and, and on his own schedule and basically in his own way and, and didn't never took no for an answer and, and started on the movie in 1970 and worked until, until he died in 85 and really never stopped working on it. So I, I really admire him for that respect. So so he's a, the kind of guy who, who just like basically told me that, you know, you should follow your dream and never give up on it. Well, and obviously you followed your dream too in, in getting this project and, and completing it after, you know, your neighbor had passed away and you thought, I'm never gonna get the other yeah, opportunity. Exactly, yeah. uh, one final question, because you worked on a, a project of a lifetime. What's next? It's a hard act to follow because uh, after working for Orson Welles, you get a little spoiled. Uh, but I'm, I'm actually starting on a cool uh, Norwegian movie called Lake of the Dead, uh, shot entirely in, in Norwegian so um, and shot on film. So that should be a cool project to go from one film project to another. And film projects are rare these days because they're shooting most things digitally. So that'll be an interesting project. How's your Norwegian? Getting good? Uh, I just started on the movie yesterday. So uh, I don't know what I'm going to do because I only speak English, but uh, it should be fun. I think horror is kind of a universal language, horror and suspense. So When you're scared, you're scared. That's right. <laughs> I love it. Congratulations. Okay. Wonderful speaking with you. Thank you. Nice you bet. You. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and in the comments below, let us know what your favorite film of 2018 was.